Hey guys, what's happening? So, in my previous video, I did a uh, unbox and test of this uh, eBay Chinese laser. It's uh, 15 watts, pretty powerful for a laser diode. And uh, before I wired it into my uh, laser graver project here, running on my uh, MKS Gen L Grebel conversion, I wanted to make sure that pulse width modulation worked. And uh, there's two different ways you can control these lasers. Uh, one is through TTL, which is transistor, transistor logic, I think. And that's pretty much just on, off. So you don't typically want to use that feature if you want to actually do like shading. Like if you want to actually basically like draw out like faces and stuff. Or pictures, you need to have uh, shading. So to control shading, you need to use a technology called pulse width modulation. And it's basically a, like a frequency based way to control voltage and so with the uh, pulse width modulation typically it's for these lasers these uh, laser engraver laser engraver lasers um, it's zero volts is off and five volts is full, full power and it's done through that so what you see in front of you is I have a pulse width modulation generator I did in their video and I also have my multimeter and so I want to kind of show you. So typically for Gerbil and these laser engravers, they are expecting one kilohertz. Like the frequency, the pulses that are coming are one, one kilohertz. So right now I have this thing at, I have a five volt AC adapter plugged into this thing. So at max voltages, this thing would be five volts. And at, you know, obviously zero would be zero volts. But I want to show you what it looks like, what the laser is actually going to be seeing from um, the MKS Genel board. So the MKS Genel board is like a Arduino Mega uh, with the ramps 1.4. So the pinouts are exactly the same. So this thing will, once I'm all done with this thing, this thing will be providing the pulse with modulation to control the, the shading for the laser. So let me show you a, a test real fast and hopefully I'm not rambling too much. But so this is the duty cycle right here. So right now, at 50% 50, 50 of 5 volts is about 2.5 volts, and you can see that. And you can also see that on the scope, too. So, when you increase the duty cycle, you're increasing the voltage. So, when the uh, Gerbil is actually sending out 50% laser, or 50% shading, it's going to be sending at about 2.5 volts, and uh, it's going to be controlling the laser at about 50%. As I increase this, obviously you'll see the voltage change. And then when I'm at 100% duty cycle, that will be max voltage. And you can also see that on the oscilloscope. So let me show you that on the oscilloscope. Right now I'm at 100% duty cycle. I'm going down, as you can see. So now when I'm at equal 50%, you'll see like uh, it'll be equal on the top, equal on the bottom. Half on, half off. On, off, on, off, on, off. So if I go down, it's going to be the opposite. See this right here? It's off more than it's on. That's on, that's off. So at 25%, 75% down here, 25%, 75% off, 25% on. Goes like that. So this is 50%, so 50% off on. 50, 50, 50, 50, right? So that's actually what the laser is going to be seeing. That's what's controlling the laser. All right, so what I wanted to do before I said, before I got this whole thing wired in, I wanted to make sure this thing actually works. So I don't want to bother cutting and splicing and soldering wires and until I know this thing works 100%. So, I'm gonna hook up a lead and jumper to this laser, and we're gonna do a pulse width modulation test and see if it actually does. So when I'm at zero, the laser should be off, my duty cycle, and then when I'm at 100%, I should be a max laser. Okay? All right, cool. All right, so let's test this laser. So right now I have it at 0% duty cycle, because I don't want the laser to come on, and I'm getting a like 27 millivolts. All right, so here we go. Plug it in. OK. 
Okay, and now the power is coming on. Fan came on. No laser yet. That's a sign. That's a good sign. And I'm going to increase the duty cycle here. So as soon as I actually add to this, the laser should come on. And they just did. See that right there? So I'm actually adding some volts to it. So this laser came on around 1 volt. So it took about 1 volt for the laser to come on. As I'm doing this, it's increasing the intensity. See that right there? That is 100% duty cycle. Alright, so I know that portion of the laser works. That's good. Pretty cool. I can actually also verify the voltage right there with my multimeter. And at the same time, I can see on my oscilloscope. Pretty cool. It's kind of smoking here. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> All right. I'm sure, my camera doesn't like that laser very much either. Um. All right. Cool. So that's the next phase. We're good. That's uh, pulse width modulation. So um, yeah. So on the. Uh, Arduino Mega, it's, it's uh, pin uh, 11, I believe. That's going to be doing the pulse with modulation. So, all right, now I can move on to the next phase.